We're hearing from State Representative Jim Lucas tonight, this after striking a plea deal for driving drunk and leaving the scene of a crash. Lucas spoke on the Hammer and Nigel show today on WIBC. One bad decision shouldn't should not weigh on a person's um, you know, integrity or their capabilities for the rest of their life. Speaking with the Hammer and Nigel show and our radio partners at WIBC, State Representative Jim Lucas called his arrest a wake-up call. So I've, I've been getting um, counseling. I have an excellent counselor I've been talking to, doing great work there, helping me understand uh, some, of the, some of the things that seem to be missing, helping connect some of the you know, pieces of the puzzle and moving forward. And I look at this as an opportunity, and that's how I'm going to take it. The Republican crashed his pickup truck last month. Police say he had a blood alcohol level of .097. Lucas told state police he thought he saw a deer, swerved, lost control, and went off Indiana 11 down a hill and threw a guardrail onto I-65. Troopers say the pickup had major front-end damage and three flat tires. I deserve what the court gave me, and I'm going, like I said, I'm going to do what the court has told me to do, and I will move on and put this behind me. Lucas entered a plea agreement and was sentenced for operating a vehicle while intoxicated and leaving the scene of a crash. Despite the incident, Lucas says he thinks he can still be an effective state representative. I still feel I'm a very good legislator. Um, I get out there on the difficult issues. I'm not afraid to discuss them. I'm not afraid to, to take them on. And I know that I can be effective. It's, you know, this is a hiccup. The plea agreement calls for no additional jail time as long as he completes 180 days of supervised probation.